Hi, it's Coach PJ back with another video. I hope you benefited from the prior video I sent on how to pre-plan your meals for fat loss. Um, in that video, I, I touched on what I'm going to cover today, which is uh, how to input custom foods uh, into a, a nutrition tracking app, whether it's um, the Nutrition X Track app, uh, which I recommend all you guys, or you can do the same thing in My Fitness Pal, or Eat This Much, or whatever it is you're using. Uh, but creating a big database of custom foods that you buy at the store over time is one of the one of uh, the most valuable quote unquote hacks, if you want to call it, that, that there is, and it just makes nutrition tracking uh, a hell of a lot more efficient and a lot easier to do. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, in the Nutrition X Track app, there is a My Food section. And again, this is the desktop version, but it's the same thing on the mobile app. Okay, um, in the mobile app, there's a, on the left-hand side in the menu, it says custom foods, and you can open that up. Here are my, all of my custom foods, right? And I, I've created um, this database over a long period of time. Um, you can see there's, I have dozens upon dozens of food. So anytime I buy a new branded food at the store, uh, when I get it home, I will um, input that food into my custom foods list. And again, you accumulate dozens of foods, um, you know, over, if you do this for a couple months, you'll just accumulate a massive database. I don't know how many I have in here, but it's a lot. I don't, it's probably 60 foods. Okay, so I'll literally just um, like, you know, like the other day I bought Campbell's chicken tortilla soup, just a can, just canned soup. Uh, and I um, went into my custom foods list, created a new custom food, which I'm going to show you how to do in a second. And I just, you know, labeled it Campbell's chicken tortilla soup. Then I put in the calories for the whole can, um, protein, uh, carbs and fats for the whole can. And then you just hit um, submit and then you'll have that information forever. I typically um, rely on this uh, and use it more for like protein sources, meats, fish, and, and poultry stuff that is going to be uh, you know a, a raw measure, and I'm going to be eating very you know very different uh, very different amounts um, you know over time. The, the branded stuff like you know rice packets, I'm going to eat the whole packet usually, or I could just like adjust to a half packet or like the soup, I'm going to eat the whole can. I really didn't need to put that in there, but I did. Um, but I will, ju I will definitely utilize this a lot for, um, protein sources like flank steak. Um, if I buy a new type of, um, chicken breast or turkey breast, you can say I bought like a branded pork tenderloin in here. Um, you know, ground turkey. So I, I, I use this a lot for, uh, if I buy a new brand of, of meat, fish, or poultry, um, it's typically, they're all pretty close, but um, different brands can have different amounts. And then I can just, um, you know, if I'm eating, the, if I'm eating that food, uh, I just, you know, weigh out whatever I'm, I want raw on a food scale, and then I can adjust the grams uh, accordingly um, in the app. So, but this is a game changer. Um, in terms of making uh, your nutrition tracking um, a heck of a lot easier and more efficient because you can just search and I'll show you how to do this. You can just search in the, in the, in the bar, the search bar, you know, like the brand I can type in, for instance, boars and it'll bring up all my boars head Turkey, uh, deli Turkey breast variations that I buy. I buy a lot of boars head uh, chicken and Turkey breast, different flavors. Um, then I can just choose, you know, just pick the one that it'll show up on the list. Uh, and I can just choose it and then just adjust the amounts. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, in real time. So like, for instance, yesterday I went to the store and um, I uh, bought a new brand of uh, deli ham. I'm on a ham kick lately. By the way, deli ham is really, really lean. Uh, everybody thinks about turkey as being the leanest deli meat. Uh, this ham, you know, it's two grams of fat and you know, the, the protein is pretty good per serving. So if you're looking to change things up and you're getting sick of eating turkey breast, uh, give ham a shot. Okay. So um, 
I, I will simply, and I'll do this real time, I'm going to do this in the app. I'll go to Custom Foods. Okay, you obviously can't see this, but I just go to Custom Foods, and then there's a little plus sign. I will hit plus, and then I'll type in, uh, this is Land of Frost, brand, Land of Frost, Deli Ham. Okay, so now it's labeled. I will adjust the serving size to um, what it says on the uh, label. So this is a 50 gram serving. So I'll just change the serving info to 50 grams. Uh, it's 50 calories per serving, uh, two grams of fat, uh, one gram of carbohydrate, and eight grams of protein. And then I'll just hit submit. Boom. And now it's in my custom foods list. In fact, if I refresh this, it shows up. I just put this in. So that's what it looks like. So you just always, whatever food you're buying, get it home. Okay. Go into your custom foods list, add a custom food, hit the plus sign. Um, and then you can just enter, you know, the name, uh, the brand, um, and what it is, Land of Frost Deli Ham. And then you can just look on the, on the label on the packet. Okay. Back here, nutrition information, go off the label. So enter your, uh, the, the amount in grams or, you know, piece or package or whatever it might be, label it however you want. Uh, then put, you're going to put in calories per serving, fat per serving, uh, carb and protein per serving. Uh, and then you just hit uh, uh, add and that you'll have that information forever. So I'm going to eat this right now after I get off of here. So I'll literally just open this up, get my food scale out. I will toss, um, you know. I don't know how much I'm going to eat yet. Probably, probably 200 grams. Okay. I'm going to make a sandwich. Um, I'll toss it on the food scale. Uh, and then I will, um, log the food, which I just did. I will adjust the amount. Let's I'll probably eat 200 grams. So I'll adjust it to 200. That's going to be for my lunch. I will log the food and now it's in, um, in my app for the day and it's calculated. So I get 32 grams of protein uh, for uh, 200 calories. Not great, but it's not bad. And I'm, I'm getting sick of eating turkey breast. So uh, at any rate, again, <clears throat> this, this can be a game changer for you. So every time you go to the store, if you buy a new brand of something, um, particularly meat, fish, and poultry, um, get it home and put it in here. And that way you can just search for these things very easily in the app uh, and adjust the amounts and you're good to go. It makes things very, very simple. Um, and again, I'm, I, I'm sure my fitness pal or eat this much or fat secret or whatever, if you're using another app, that's not nutrition extract, it, it has the option to add custom foods and you go about it uh, the exact same way. So anyway, uh, good little hack implement this. And again, I hope everyone is implementing, uh, the, the pre-planning, um, that I covered in the last video. Um, and I'll continue to make more and more videos like this, practical stuff, immediately usable that can accelerate um, your results and make nutrition tracking uh, a lot more um, convenient, efficient, and less tedious. Thanks.